Far away from hospitals, researchers and scientists are working here in this Israeli company. In Caesarea, a northern city on the Israeli coast, Ice Cure Medical was born. The company's revolutionary technique freezes cancerous tumors. Ice Cure Medical developed and markets innovative cryoablation solution for women's health and other organs. We are intended to replace the surgery for a specific uh, population that we can offer to treat in a minimal invasive. The system is simple. A needle goes through the skin to reach the tumor. Then a temperature of minus 274 degrees Fahrenheit is sent to the cancerous tumor, which becomes frozen. Thanks to our technology, we can freeze tumors from different types and sizes. The earlier the patient is diagnosed, the smaller the tumor is, the faster and more efficient the treatment will be. Once frozen, the tumor becomes inactive. Then, the body performs its natural role, eliminating the dead cell. The human body is capable of eliminating dead cells. It's a natural process. It constantly eliminates dead cells inside. So once the freezing operation is performed, dead cells are eliminated in the coming days or weeks. Only a tiny scar remains inside the tissue. But on the outside, on the breast or the kidney, or any part that was treated, there is no trace. A cryotherapy technique that only requires a local anesthetic, unlike other treatment methods usually practiced in cancerology. Patients don't need to be given a general anesthetic. Most of them are treated in less than one hour. Some little tumors can be treated in 10 to 15 minutes. It's a very fast and straightforward procedure. The patient can even go home on the same day or the day after. Devices can be used in hospitals, but also in doctors' offices, with the revolutionary technique already successfully treating thousands of women worldwide. Up until now, we have treated more than 400 uh, breast cancer patients in Japan. In the U.S., we are performing a clinical study. We have uh, up until now treated 200 uh, breast cancer patients. The Israeli device is already available in the United States, Asia, Australia, and in some European countries, such as Spain and Germany.